Today's unfortunate story is about a Otilly Tilly Clement. She was a Polish American serial killer, active in Chicago. Uh, according to accounts, she pretended to have psychic dreams, accurately predicting the dates of death of her victims, when in reality she was merely scheduling their deaths. Kilimek was born in Poland and came to the United States as an infant with her parents. Tilly married her original husband, Joseph, in the year 1895. In the year of 1914, he died after a short illness. The death certificate listed the cause of death as heart trouble, and she quickly remarried Joseph, who lived nearby. He too died in a short order, as did a boyfriend who had guilted her. The crime for which Klinemek was eventually tried was the murder of Frank, her third husband. He had taken ill in their apartment in Winchester, where she had previously lived with a boyfriend under the name of Myers. And she began to tell neighbors that Frank would not live long. She mocked Frank herself, greeting him in the morning by saying, It won't be long now, and you'll be dying soon and joking with neighbors that he had two inches to live. She even knitted her own morning hat as she sat at his bedside, which she later wore to the trial, and asked for the landlady's permission to store a bargain coffin she'd found for sale in the basement. This may have been what led to belief that she claimed to predict deaths. In the year of 1921, after Frank's death, Klimek married a man named Joseph Klimek and lived with him at Tell Place, a now 1453 Thomas Street. When he became ill, doctors suspected arsenic poisoning and tests confirmed it. She was arrested. It was later said that she had told the arresting officer that the next one I want to cook a dinner for is you. Bodies of Clement's other husbands were soon exhumed and found to contain lethal doses of arsenic. Though the soil around them was clean, police also arrested her cousin, Nellie. Clemec told the police that she had told Nellie she was tired of her husband, Frank. Nellie suggested divorce. Clement said that I will get rid of him soon other way and claimed that Nellie had given her a goody, goofy portion of a poison called Rough on Rats. After Clement's arrest, it came to light that several relatives and neighbors of the two women had died. Two neighbors Clement had quarreled with became gravely ill after being given a candy bar by her. A dog that annoyed Clement in her Winchester street house had died of arsenic poison. Several of Clement and Nellie's cousins and relatives were found to have become gravely ill shortly after eating at Clement's house. In all, the list included 20 suspect victims, 14 of whom had died. The papers began to speak of Klemek not as a solo murderer, but as a high priestess of Bluebird Click in Chicago's little Poland neighborhood. Other wives in the neighborhood were arrested and released. Joseph Klemek would survive, though he was still in the hospital more than three months later. It was found that she had taken out life insurance policies on her husband's from which she profited it greatly. In March year 1923, Clemec was found guilty of the murder of Frank, her third known husband. Reporters noted that unlike most of her husband killers who had been acquitted in Chicago courts, Clemec was not beautiful or charming but a squat woman who spoke only broken English. Despite having lived in the country since infancy, she was sentenced to life in prison, the harshest sentence that had ever been leveled against a woman in Cook County. 
Nelly was found later acquitted after spending a year in prison during her drawn-out trial. Clemec often teased her in prison, once convincing her that she was about to be taken out and hanged. Clemec died in prison at the Jolette Correctional Center on November 20th, year 1936, and was entered as the Bohemian National Cemetery in Chicago.